Hello vlog people, what's going on? Just finished shooting the first video for KBD Productions TV of the year. And uh, we are in Rusty. I thought we were gonna have a, a bad start to this video. We, uh, let me get the car started, it's getting cold in here. So we walked up to the van and I pressed the uh, auto start and uh, it would start and then stop. And it would start and stop. So I just opened the door and stuck the key in and started it. And I shut the door, went inside for a minute, grabbed a few items that I needed to do this video. And uh, when I walked back out to the car, the car was locked. I'm like, and then I couldn't remember if I, I left the key somewhere in the house because I thought I used, because I tried to start it so, several times with the remote starter, I thought, the keys were in my pocket somewhere or I put it down in my room or the kitchen. But it turns out I did start it with the key. I did shut the door and somehow it locked. And luckily we had another key uh, stashed away at the house, but we couldn't find it for a bit. I'm like, oh, there goes today's video. What a disaster. But we found the key and uh, got back into Rusty and all is good in the world. So yeah, today is, uh, our first video of the season. This is our first vlog of the season too, isn't it? I don't think, yeah, I haven't posted anything. Took a few days off and of course this Omicron madness has uh, enveloped the world and uh, the government of Ontario is shutting everything down and uh, it's gonna make it even harder for me to get around to make content for you guys, so. Please be patient. I know you guys already are extremely patient uh, with what's going on in the world, with how it's affecting YouTubers and us trying to make content for you guys. Uh, it's it's not, not easy, as you guys know. You guys know too. Um, one of the good things is a lot of people, people I know uh, on YouTube, people I know personally, uh, people are getting COVID and the Omicron strain because it's very, very contagious, easily transmitted. And uh, a few of you guys, um, Sammy Workins and his wife, they both got it. But of course, because almost everybody is double vaxxed, uh, it's hitting them like a, like a like the regular flu or a bad cold. Uh, people are complaining about like that it kind of takes them out for a couple of days, but they're not ending up in the hospital, which is the best part of the people that got vaccinated. We're not ending up on ventilators and dying in hospitals because that's what happened, as you guys know, the first couple uh, waves of COVID, and uh, so uh, I I think I wrote. The day I posted the picture on Instagram that's saying, you know, I feel safe and people are like safe. And I'm like, yeah, I don't, I don't feel that if I did get COVID that I would, I would die. So whereas at the beginning people were dying and, uh, they still aren't, but those, I think the people that are dying are again, really compromised, uh, if they've been, or they haven't been vaxxed or they've been vaxxed, but they still have a lot of health issues and they just, their body just can't handle it. So what I've seen through, uh, I have a family uh, out in BC area and their whole family got COVID and they're, they're really careful. And luckily they're all vaccinated and they just, they all wound it up with uh, like a really nasty flu and managed to get through it, didn't end up in a hospital, which is the main thing. And that's again, why, why this, vaccine was uh, super important to get it out as fast as they did and I'm glad I've got my my third shot and uh, and I also got my flu shot so I, I, I haven't got a flu shot in the last couple of years I think I got it once maybe my whole life and uh, I just don't feel that it, I, it was necessary now I do I feel it's very necessary because if I get like the regular flu and I think it's COVID, then uh, it, it'll be it'd be scary. It'll, if I get COVID, still I, I'd be still extremely scared and paranoid that something bad is going to happen out of it. Anyway, so that's what's going on in the world. You guys already know what's going on in the world, and uh, so I'm just letting you know that I'm going to try my hardest to make a lot of content for you. Other things are happening in our lives that I don't want to get into right now. Um, but uh, I, I appreciate all the comments. I look forward to uh, launching a vlog. I look forward to launching a video and going through the comments and just seeing, you know, 
hearing about you guys and what's going on in your lives and and how sometimes what I do uh, either helps you feel better um, because I'm trying to make lighthearted fun content for you guys because I know it's tough out there and, uh, and it's so nice to hear that you guys enjoy my videos and that they help you guys uh, some of you guys I've read you're in the hospital. People are in the hospital and they have nothing to do. So they watch my videos and somehow my videos make them feel good. So I thank you back. And I really appreciate the, you guys telling me that kind of information. Cause I, I just can't believe that, uh, you know, I started this YouTube channel. never thought it would help people like that. I thought it would just entertain people and, you know, it'd be, it'd be like watching, you know, if I, if I watched, uh, if I watched like a tech channel, you know, just, depending on how the person did their videos, if they were just like unboxings or whatever, I wouldn't probably reach out to them saying your, your videos make me feel good. But for whatever reason, my videos make people uh, feel good. So uh, again, once again, I, I, I really appreciate the feedback. I did have a bunch of plans uh, to do some traveling soon, but uh, they've all been terminated uh, until at least the end of January. So I will not be traveling outside of this province for another month. Um, I, I, it's possible I might be doing uh, some stealth camping and that kind of stuff here in Ontario uh, until the restrictions are lifted and uh, or until I can get in and out of the country easy without uh, you know compromising myself or other people then we just have to wait and I'll just keep doing what I've been doing the last year the last two years just trying to get content out to you being stuck here in Ontario. As a lot of you guys know, I did get a new bike and when I get home, I'll show it to you guys. Uh, it's a specialized trail bike. It's got one crank cog, uh, cogs or what the chain, uh, what pulls the chain around. It's just a really good trail bike and I'm so glad I bought it because I did go for a bike ride with the boys, I think in early fall, late summer and I could barely get up any of the hills that we went on. And uh, it was, when you're used to riding road and then you go off road and you're going over uh, trees, roots, rocks, downhill, uphill, dirt, mud, and all that stuff, it's, it's so different and scary. And now that I got a new bike, uh, the handlebars are actually a little bit wider, so it makes it even more scary. But uh, yesterday uh, was Sunday, and that was the first day I climbed two or three of the hills that I'd never been able to get up. And now that it's icy and snowy, it's even crazier in my mind that I actually managed to get up these hills. And so that means I'm getting stronger. I'm getting uh, a little bit more educated on uh, and feeling a little more secure because you'll, you'll go down a hill that's really steep and then you have to be in your granny gear going down because when you hit the other side, you don't have time to change gears and it can mess you up. So everybody's like, you know, go into your low gear before you go into the down thing, but then there's rocks and stuff. So you gotta be really careful and I don't go as fast as the other guys do. And they've been doing it a lot longer than I have and they have way more experience and they just have that mentality of what they, they know what they're doing. So, you know, you go down the hill, you use that momentum to get you up most of the si other side of the hill. And as long as you're in that granny gear and you start pedaling at the right time, then you can make it up and over the next hill. So the bunch of times that I've gone with them, I just can't make it up the hill because I'm too scared to go down the hill fast in the wrong gear when I'm trying to go up. So once I get more uh, educated on uh, how to how to cycle these specific types of hills and get more familiarized with that trail, then uh, I'll start to uh, enjoy myself even more. I did enjoy myself. My feet froze on Sunday. It was like minus 20 uh, and my feet were freezing. So uh, luckily Steve had some um, foot warmers. They're like, they look like a little mini I don't know, like that shape, really thin, and you just get them all warmed up and you put them in your pocket, in your, in your shoe, and uh, it saved my toes from being frostbit. But uh, I, I look forward to possibly getting some boots that I can use from here going forward. All right, let's go home and I'll show you my new bike. All right, guys, made it home. Time to show you the new bike. Okay, so there's the old bike. Let me turn this light on. All right, so there's my old bike. I'm gonna still use it as a road 
kind of uh, depending. I don't know. I might sell it. I don't know. So uh, these were my, were my summer tires. These were the spike tires that I put on last year on this bike. But because this is my brand new bike, again, it's a specialized. It's a dark, dark green. I'm not sure if you guys can, you can see it better on the back one than this. It looks dark black here, but it's a dark green. And I have these crazy big knobby metal spikes and that's helps climb hills uh i was trying to explain and oh it's uh <clears throat> it's got hydraulic brakes front and back and i put that on i stole this from that bike i didn't want to buy another one so i just uh i usually only have one water bottle with me everywhere i go anyway so i put one there one here and uh, I got a new one of these for this bike so I can put my computer on there, which really helped this ride. Uh, and look at the size difference. State, okay. So this has one ring, chain ring at the front. And look at the size of this granny gear. It is huge. That's like a nine inch diameter across uh, rear cog. And it's just got this amazing technology in it so I can climb these crazy hills that you couldn't, you cannot do it on this one. And this one has three, three chain rings, one, two, three, and then a much smaller cassette at the back. So trying to climb those hills was brutal, but now I can climb it. The first ride I did go on with them with this, I still didn't make it up those hills that I was telling you about earlier. And Sunday was the first time I climbed with this beautiful bike. That is definitely going to be part of my travels in the near future. And I'll definitely will uh, bring my GoPro and possibly my Insta360 and do some video uh, with that. Once again, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. A little updated video and shut that light off. And we'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.